I've had many requests to review the Olympus 12-40mm f2.8 Pro standard zoom, but I haven't done so up to now because it was hardly new to the market even when I bought it. I bought it at the same time as my Olympus 40-150 2H with 1.4 times converter five years ago. And looking back, I realised that these two lenses, along with my Olympus 17mm 1.8, are my only lenses that I've never even considered selling. The 40-150 and 17mm because they are unique. The 12-40mm because it is, all in all, the best all-rounder of Micro Four Thirds plethora of standard zooms. I take a standard zoom to mean one that includes 25mm in its range while the ones that come with the camera are the kit zooms, and almost always 14-42mm, to 42 millimeter, f3.5-5.6. to 5, 6. Standard zooms can cover any slice between 10 and 50 millimeters, but tend to have special characteristics, ultra-compact, constant aperture and so on. Panasonic's excellent 12-35mm to f2.8 preceded Olympuses by a couple of years, and is smaller and lighter than this Olympus, both distinct advantages. I sold my Panasonic in favour of this Olympus for one reason only, the extra 5mm taking it to 40mm. It makes more difference than you'd expect, making it more usable for close-in portraits, and the slightly bigger relative rendering of the background and foreground give you just a little more separation between them. As with all the subsequent Olympus Pro lenses, it's good looking, weighty and solid feeling. There's a bayonet fitting lens hood supply, which reverses for storage and easy fitting of the lens cap. The lens trombones quite a lot as it zooms, and it has Olympus's now familiar manual focus clutch, which reveals a vestigial distance scale when pulled back. Otherwise, all there is to see is the lens function switch, which works on later Panasonic bodies as well as, obviously, Olympus ones. It's relatively large for a micro four thirds standard zoom, but with a weight of 380 grams or 13 ounces, and a length of 84 millimeter or less than three and a half inches, it won't be breaking any camel's backs. I always feel these things are best explained with an analogy. If I was a little girl with shimmering golden hair wandering in the forest, my camera bag was a chair, and the EM1 was a spoon, then the Olympus 12-40mm f2.8 constant aperture pro standard zoom would be a small bowl of porridge. And with the Goldilocks now reborn as a Micro Four Thirds equipment reviewer, she would pronounce the EM1 with 12 to 40 just right, albeit inedible. On Olympus EM5 or Panasonic GX9 and smaller bodies, the lens feels a little on the large side, but that's an impression that will fade after a half hour's use. This being an Olympus Pro lens, it hardly needs saying that all the controls are butter smooth, and its largely metal build lends it a bulletproof feel that, good as they are, Panasonic's lenses never quite seem to match. The lens function switch is set to deactivate autofocus by default, and I doubt anyone would want to change that in making what was known as back button focusing a cinch. It's weather sealed as you'd expect, but I've left the most salient feature to last, which is that it is, of course, a constant aperture lens. So f2.8 at 12mm is f2.8 at 40mm. It's hard to overemphasize the importance of that and the confidence it gives you. If it's dark and you're using the last reserves of your camera's stabilization, when you zoom into 40mm, your shutter speed won't quietly slip from a 30th down to a 10th. When it comes to performance, this lens is up there with the very best. It's astoundingly sharp wide open, which is how I usually use it. Why pay for an f2.8 lens and then stop it down? For the ultimate test, at f4 it is razor sharp, edge to edge at any focal length, even at its longest where any zoom is at its worst. I don't see any untowards distortion or purple fringing, virtually all of which is eliminated in software in the camera anyway. The main thing to say with this 12-40 is just put it on the camera and use it. It's not a macro lens, but it does focus closely enough to sub for one when you're out and about. There's only one close competitor for this lens, Panasonic's 12-35mm f2.8. That's a fine lens too. Not so consistently sharp across the frame, but smaller and lighter and £100 cheaper. The choice is difficult, but you soon forget the cost of a lens, while any drawback presents itself every time you use it. There's no shortage of standard zooms for micro four thirds. From the perfectly good kit items to the exotic 10 to 25 mm F17 Panasonic and the tiny Panasonic 12 to 32 mm, and outside it is the Olympus 12 to 50 mm at a quarter of the price. It lacks speed, but its central performance is similar to Panasonic's 12 to 35, even if the edges are not so good. By way of compensation, it is much sharper than the 12 to 35 mm from 36 to 50 mm and even surpasses the 1240 from 41 to 50mm, 
If you're okay with the size and price, replacing a kit zoom with this lens extends the enjoyment, scope and possibilities of your work. What greater compliment can I pay this lens than to announce that, if it were a bowl of porridge, it would be a small one. Thanks for watching.